Olivia Rodrigo brought special guest Lily Allen on stage during her Glastonbury performance on Saturday to sing Lily's 2009 hit FKU in response to the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. American singer Olivia, 19, took to the other stage at Worthy Farm where she said she was devastated and terrified by the ruling which ended the constitutional right to abortion in the U.S meaning individual states could decide whether abortion can be made illegal. She said, I'm devastated and terrified, by the ruling. And so many women and girls are going to die because of this and I wanted to dedicate this next song to the five members of the Supreme Court who showed us at the end of the day they truly don't give a s asterisk about freedom. After her words prompted huge applause from the audience. Olivia went on to address the Supreme Court justices individually, saying, This song goes out to the justices Samuel Alito, Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch, Amy Coney Barrett, and Brett Kavanaugh. Fellow pop star Lily, 37, was seen giving the middle finger as she stood on stage, before saying, We hate you guys, as the pair launched into the expletive-filled song. The Supreme Court ended constitutional protections for abortion that have been in place for nearly 50 years by deciding to overturn the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade ruling and hand back power to individual states to decide whether or not to permit the procedure. The justices held that the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision that allowed abortions performed before a fetus would be viable outside the womb between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy, was wrongly decided because the U.S. Constitution makes no specific mention of abortion rights. The ruling means that individual states now have the power to decide on whether to ban abortion. The Guttmacher Institute, a pro-choice research group, has said that 26 states are, certain or likely, to ban abortion now. The decision means that women with unwanted pregnancies in large swathes of America will now face the choice of traveling to another state where the procedure remains legal and available. Buying abortion pills online or having a potentially dangerous illegal abortion. In an address at the White House, President Joe Biden said it was a sad day for the court and the country, and called the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, and making terminations illegal for millions of American women, wrong, extreme and out of touch. Accusing the court of expressly taking away a constitution right that is so fundamental to so many Americans. Biden vowed the fight over abortion rights, is not over, and said his administration will do everything in its power to combat efforts to restrict women from traveling to other states to obtain abortions. It comes after Billie Eilish admitted it was a dark day for women, following the U.S. Supreme Court's decision as she headlined the pyramid stage on Friday night. Billie cursed the old Supreme Court justices, who tried to tell us what to do with our bodies after admitting she'd had a real expletive day upon learning of the ruling.